How do you know if you have a cavity? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about cavities, also known as tooth decay, also known as dental caries, whatever you wanna call them. It's important to know that cavities often do not hurt until they're pretty deep. Meaning by the time you notice a tooth is hurting you, the tooth decay might have already reached deep into the nerve of the tooth, which could mean you'll need more than just a filling to save your tooth. You might need a crown or even a root canal and crown to save the tooth. The bigger the cavity, the more surface area it covers on your tooth, the higher the chance of you needing something more than a filling. And since tooth pain usually doesn't happen until it's a pretty big cavity, usually not until you're already in crown or root canal territory, how do you know if you just have a small cavity that just needs a filling? The truth is, it's tricky to know. And most people will not know without seeing a dentist due to the fact that, like we said, cavities often don't hurt until they've progressed significantly. That's why catching cavities early at the dental office is crucial. Although you can't feel or visually see your own cavities the majority of the time, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Dentists and dental x-rays can. So to catch cavities early, you need to do these two things. One, see your dentist routinely for clinical exams. Of course, they are trained in detecting tooth decay, at least on the areas of your teeth that they can visually see and or use an instrument to touch. There's different ways to feel for cavities with explorers and different dental techniques and cavity detection products in the office. But for the areas between your teeth that aren't visible clinically, two, you need dental x-rays. Sometimes patients ask to decline routine checkup x-rays because they say nothing is hurting them, so they don't think they need them. But like we just talked about in this video, you all now know that even if you're not feeling discomfort, you can still have cavities, especially smaller ones. So routine checkup x-rays are critical in detecting those smaller or even normal sized cavities before they grow too large. If you skip the x-rays and wait until something hurts, it's just going to become a bigger and more expensive problem in the future. And of course, more likely to cause you pain as well. Small cavities are easy, and affordable to fix with simple fillings. But as they get bigger, tooth decay will grow and grow. It won't just stop, it continues to grow. It's like a termite infestation on your deck outside, except it's a bacterial infestation on your tooth. The cavity bacteria will just keep eating away at your tooth, making the cavity bigger and bigger. And then you might need, like we said, a crown because the bacteria ate away a whole bunch of tooth structure. There's not enough tooth left to do a simple filling anymore. Just like with your deck. If you're able to catch the termites early, maybe you can replace just part of your deck that they ruined. But if you continue to let them eat and eat away at your deck, it's just going to become a bigger problem, probably needing to replace your entire deck. You get it. Same goes for your teeth. In extreme cases, a tooth extraction might be needed due to a large cavity. They will need to pull the tooth out if there's not enough tooth structure left. So it goes small cavity, filling. Larger cavity, crown. Large cavity and deep into the nerve, a root canal and crown. And lastly, so large that there's barely any tooth structure left, an extraction. One last thing before we go. Many people People ask, what about brown spots? If you see brown spots on your teeth, what does that mean? Could that be a cavity that I can detect at home? Now, if the cavity is in the perfect location, sometimes you might see it. If it's located in just the right spot, you might be able to see it for yourself. It's rare, but it's not unheard of. That's why I didn't open with this at the beginning because you also gotta understand that not all brown spots mean you have a cavity. For instance, some brown spots can simply be from tobacco stains or food and drink stains, tartar buildup stains, and even stains from vitamins and supplements swimming in chlorinated pools. If you swim regularly in chlorinated pools, you might notice brown spots on your teeth. So back to the main question of this video, how do you know if you have a cavity or is it just stain? Are there any other signs or symptoms you can notice at home that might hint that you have a cavity? I think we're all recognizing now without seeing a dentist, no. You will never know for sure if you have a cavity unless you let it grow and grow bigger and bigger until it starts to hurt, which I do not recommend. So without sounding like a broken record, the only way to know for sure is to visit your dentist. I'm sorry, that's probably not the answer you wanna hear. But in conclusion, the key to knowing if you have a cavity is recognizing that small cavities usually don't hurt. This is why dental checkups and x-rays are so important. The sooner we catch small cavities, the easier and less expensive it is for you to get them fixed, saving you time, money, and pain in the long run. And most importantly, when you're at home, every single day, between your six month checkups, instead of worrying about whether you have a cavity, try to focus that time and energy on preventing cavities. To do this, simply keep up with your home 
home care, brushing, flossing every single day, don't skip days, and make sure you're using proper technique. Consistency is key, and on top of consistency is proper technique. So many people do brush and floss, but they're unknowingly doing it wrong. So they aren't getting the full benefits. They aren't protecting against cavities properly. To help you with this, I did put together a free oral care guide that walks you through proper technique for brushing, flossing, tongue scraping, and more. All of your home care efforts, click the link in the description or in the pinned comment if you want to make sure you're doing everything right. It's a free download. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.